So now how do I apply the awareness and suspending our fears is what is going to help us to suspend our position and therefore be open to listen to different perspectives and different points of view, which is one of the greatest skills of a leader. Well, let me give you an example. Let's say someone or I have the fear of losing, uh, let's say losing power. Then anytime that someone else will come into the team or will come into my surroundings that demonstrates a little bit of power, then if I'm not aware, if I'm not awakened to, to my fear, then what I will do instead of letting go and listening to this person and wanting to really understand what this person is saying, I will get into a defensive mode and will go into what is called power struggle. That's one example. Now, what about if I'm afraid and if I have a fear of making mistakes? Well, if I, if I have a fear of making mistakes, which really is fear of rejection or being criticized, then what happens is that number one, I'm very afraid of taking risks because when I'm going to do something new, obviously, I mean, what are the chances of making mistakes if I try something new? Many, many. I mean, how do we learn to walk? by falling often. So if we have that fear, that fear stop us from actually taking risks, from uh, wanting to go into the unknown, from exploring possibilities. And so questioning and, and exploring that fear and being aware that I have it, let's say, that right away, it puts that fear under a very different, um, a very different state because the fear knows that I pay attention to it. So he's not gonna jump in and uh, interrupt when I'm trying to do something. Let's look at the fear of um, losing face, which is a fear, again, a fear of, re of rejection, fear of being criticized. And that fear comes out when we don't have a very strong backbone, when we don't know who we are. And so every little criticism or every little disapproval really impact us. And what happens is, again, we don't try new things because chances are we're gonna make mistakes, people are gonna reject us. We're not, we're not a, a, a little, I'm, I'm not sure I have a saying that uh, we're not a little sweet peel that everybody would really like. And in fact, nowadays, sweet peels are not good for everybody. So that little analogy doesn't work anymore. But um, really what, what I'm saying is that having fear of losing face really stop us from taking action, from doing something that is uh, going into the unknown, from exploring possibilities. This is Esperanza Montalvo. And uh, I'll resume, I'll talk about all the fears in my next video. Bye for now.